so much for um, speaking to us today. You spoke about the situation in Uganda. Could you please um, uh, talk to us a little bit more about how the United States can uh, protect the rights of LGBT people in areas um, where those rights are not respected? Yes, and uh, first let me say that um, over this past year we have uh, elevated into our human rights dialogues and our public statements a very clear message about protecting uh, the rights of uh, the LGBT community worldwide. And we are particularly concerned about some of the specific cases that have come to our attention around the world. Uh, there have been organized uh, efforts to um, kill and uh, maim uh, gays and lesbians in some countries that we have uh, spoken out about and also uh, conveyed our very strong concerns about to their governments, not that they were governmentally um, implemented or even that the government was aware of them, but that the governments need to pay much greater attention to the kinds of abuses that we've seen in Iraq, for example. We are deeply concerned about uh, some of the stories coming out of Iran. Uh, in large measure in reaction, we think, to the uh, response to the elections back uh, in June. Uh, there have been abuses uh, committed within uh, the detention facilities and elsewhere that uh, uh, we are deeply concerned about. And then the example that I used of a piece of legislation in Uganda uh, which would uh, not only criminalize homosexuality but attach the death penalty uh, to it. Uh, we have expressed our concerns uh, directly, indirectly, and we will continue to do so. The bill has not gone through the uh, Ugandan legislature, but it uh, has a lot of public support by various groups, including religious leaders in Uganda, and we view it as a very serious uh, potential uh, violation of human rights. So it is clear that across the world, this is a new frontier in the minds of many people about how we protect uh, the LGBT community, but it is at the top of our list because we see uh, many instances where there is a uh, very serious uh, assault on the physical safety uh, and an increasing effort to marginalize uh, people. Um, and we think it's important for the United States to um, uh, stand against that and to enlist others uh, to join us in doing so.